what's up you guys my name is d and i am back again with another video so for today we are going to be watching more jubilee and this one is love or money so you're going to be dating somebody like speed dating and you don't know if they're actually in it for love or it's for money so you're gonna ask some questions get to talk to people and you know you got to do elimination and basically you want to pick the person that you're feeling the most and at the end of it you're going to find out if the person is in it for love you can exchange information and continue dating or if the person you picked is in it for money then you just gotta walk away you can't get any of their information and they get a cash prize personally i would take the money because i don't believe in falling in love through a game show <laughs> um <laughs> So that's just my opinion. I personally would go for the money, but you know, some people actually want to find love. It's not easy out here, especially being from New York, especially being from New York. But if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any other video from me. Let's get into it. Oh my God. Wait. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> One of the hardest parts of dating is guessing someone's intentions. I'm not going to lie. That was really weird. Um, that was very awkward. <laughs> I don't know. Are they truly interested in you or are they just looking out for themselves? How do you know when you're being played? We created a game show to find out. One bachelorette is looking for love and will meet five potential matches. I'm in it for love. 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 Here's the catch. Some of them are lying and trying to win a cash prize. Can our bachelorette eliminate the gold diggers and find a true match? All right. So I don't know if you can see my arrow. You're not supposed to, but you know, OBS, it does its own thing. So, <laughs> but right here, I feel like he's in it for money. He's in it for money. He's in it for love. <laughs> he's in it for love. And he's in it for money. So the top two are money. I feel like these two on the bottom right here, they're both in it for love. And then this guy right here, he, he's in it for the money. That's that's my opinion. Or will they just get played? This is love or money. See, this is why I don't do game shows, because like, why would I publicly get my heart broken? Like, I'll cry in the middle of the, of the show and then they're not going to know what to do with me. Welcome to Love or Money. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Thrilled. Hannah, these are your potential matches. Do you see your future boyfriend in here? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah. I am. I really want my natural hair to grow like that. It's, it's growing. Those braids help. I'm about to braid it up again. <laughs> but Hannah seemed like such a sweet girl. I really hope she fun. Like, so far, the ones that I've seen, everybody has picked somebody who's in it for money. I want her to actually pick somebody who's in it for love. Let me see. I feel like she's going to pick the guy in the green shirt, and he's in it for money. Vegan, eco-friendly. I am pretty creative, and I'm a YouTuber. And what do you look for in a match? Someone that's silly, someone that's fun, and someone who will drink and dance with me. Ooh. Will you guys drink and dance with her? Easily, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now that you met your bachelorette, you're going to decide if you're in it for love or money. Underneath your chair, you have an envelope and a marker, and you're going to write if you're in it for love or money. And just so you know, once you put love or money, you are locked in for the whole show and you cannot. Her nails are cute. I feel like. I feel like the cash prize isn't even worth it. Like how much you really get, like three hundred dollars? <laughs> like you about to break somebody's heart for three hundred dollars. Change your answer. This is round one, and it's all about the first impression. Hannah, you have 10 minutes to free for all, ask any questions you want, and speed date all of these lovely guys. And the timer starts now. Alrighty, first can we go down the line and say, 
Name, age, and what do you do for a job? All right, my name is Logan, 26, and I, uh, I'm working at Chipotle while I pursue acting. Hey, I'm Darren, I like your socks. I'm 23, and I work at a tech company. My name is Emmanuel, I'm 20. You know, I was noticing that too. I was like, why is nobody wearing shoes? Does that help, like, with, like COVID-19 or something? Too. I also like your socks, <laughs> and I work as a physicist at Stanford remotely. Hi, I'm Sebastian, I'm 21, and I'm looking for a marketing internship right now, and I also like your socks. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Pearson, I'm 23, um, I'm a filmmaker. Um, Anybody who's pursuing something sh is probably in it for the money. Because it's like, I'm pursuing a career. I'm broke, a.k.a. Dr. all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all righty. Hmm. You seem like you're a lot of fun. And the dancing thing really, oh my God. really got my heart beating. So I'm about that. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite drink? Go. Uh, gin lemon. I'm a baby. I like lemonade. Cute. I've been drinking a lot of scotch lately because I'm an old man, I guess. <laughs> Maybe like a hands beer. Tequila Sunrise. Jack and Coke. Okay, I just, I want to like see. Penny marks. See height differences? Okay, wait, I just want to like come up to you guys real quick. Oh, this is, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like tall guys, but I never did that. I never went to a guy and like, yeah, th we could do this. Yeah, we could do this. Like, as long as my head isn't going like this, or my eyes isn't going like this, I kind of just want to, like a, you know, <laughs> if, you could, if you could get that a little pivot up, that's cool. But I never actually, like, went up to a guy and, like, did that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys giggling about? <laughs> She's so awkward. This is so normal. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm by far the shortest on here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but you saw like when she went towards the guy in the blue, the whitish blue shirt with the long hair, and you see like how her head pivoted like that. Like that's, that's very attractive. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, can I feel everyone's arms? Can I do that? <laughs> as you wish. Oh, do as you please, man. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Stop it. <laughs> um, this is really fun. Oh my god, no! Okay, give me the tea. <laughs> I like all their personalities so far. Yeah, they seem great. They made me feel really comfortable. I hope I made them feel comfortable, even though it was kind of weird. I'm like, oh no, I shouldn't have asked to touch their arms. <laughs> I went down and they were like really relaxed and then I went to touch and they went. <laughs> oh no, that was great. I loved it. Do you think they're all here for love, some for money? Can you tell yet? I can't tell. I know, I know I'm nervous. Okay, so I know you said you liked all of them, but you have to eliminate two soon. Do you know who you're gonna pick? Welcome back, guys. Did you guys have fun meeting Hannah? A lot of fun. A lot. Well, two of you are about to be eliminated. Hannah. Oh. Hannah. Logan, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's fun. Um, and you? Oh, okay. So sorry. <laughs> okay, I didn't think she was gonna pick the one with the green shirt. I, I had a feeling the one with the dark blue shirt, I had a feeling he was gonna go because his skin isn't right. Um, I feel like it's, all right, I can't tell, but I would go for the black guy only because he's a, what, a physicist? <laughs> but he sounds like he has an established career. And if you have an established career, why would you be here for money? Like, if she really wants to find somebody for love. So far, he seemed like he's established. Um, I remember the guy with the long hair said that he was inspiring. I don't know what the, the Asian guy. I don't know what he, I don't remember what he does. So let's find out more about him. I don't really know too much. But he seems cool. Like, he has a cool personality. 
Bye, guys. I'm sorry. Our fallen brothers. This is round two. Hannah's going to get a little deeper with her potential matches, and she has five minutes to speed date all of them. Hannah, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sebastian again. Hello. Hi. Are we started? <laughs> are we started? Wow. No, I'm already a blank. I can't think. Um, you sound like so much fun. I like to think that I am. Always. I like your style a Thank lot. You. And yeah. you, your arms are nice. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> I do a lot of things. You do a lot of things with, with your arms? Yeah. So you surf? I do. Yes. Not well. <laughs> He looks like a surfer. <laughs> I think it's just because of the hair. <laughs> but I try. No way. No, I know. It's the hair. I wish I was like no a superstar, way. but. Told you. It's the hair. Okay, but what, what are you the best at? Um, what are you like? Maybe second dates, but I guess you'd have to find out after. <gasps> yeah. Oh, sh if we if we go out and party and a bar fight arises, I can protect you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> if there was an apocalypse, like, do you think you would be the last one standing? I'd, I'd, I'd make it to the final rounds, I think. Wait, like, what scares you? What scares me? Yeah. Probably living in a world without family. Like, being the only one left. Oh my god. What about yourself? Um, something so weird about me is um, I was always afraid of people in, like, mascot costumes. Like Chuck E. Cheese, like stuff like that. Okay, or I like sports games. Yes. Yeah. What kind of what kind of YouTube videos do you make? Okay, so a couple of years ago, this thing happened where my hair fell out, mm. and I posted a video just talking about how my hair fell out, and then that kind of blew up, and people oh, wanted to know what I was doing next. How come I feel like I seen that video? I feel like I seen that video. I. I feel like I seen that video. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. So now it just kind of turned into me uh, just testing beauty things and making people feel more comfortable That's with really themselves. Good. That's inspiring. Really? No! Oh my goodness. I would love to stay in chat, but uh, yeah. we'll, we'll maybe see you later. We'll see ya. You want a hug? Yeah. I'm a hugger, for sure. <laughs> I'm a hugger also, but I feel like her interaction with the Asian guy was a little awkward. And he got up real quick like, all right, bye. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it was awkward. I feel like she connected more with the with the black guy. I don't remember anybody's names. I I just remember Sebastian because he's a surfer. <laughs> but um, I feel like it'll be between those two. But who knows? I, I get everything wrong in Jubilee. So I'll catch you later. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, Hannah, so how do you feel? I feel good. The mm -hmm. hug between you and Emmanuel, it was like it long. Felt, it felt it was real. Like, He's a I good hugger. It. But then the hug between you and Sebastian, you said he smells good. He smelled good, yeah. Darren, I wish we got a chance to hug. Like, I wish I could have felt that. I felt like there was a pause, and then you could both were like. We were like, <laughs> and then he left. <laughs> Are you ready to eliminate one guy? Yes. Are you nervous? Yeah. Oh. I feel bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've come to the time where Hannah has to eliminate one person. And just a reminder, Hannah, one of these guys, or all of them, two of them, could be in it for the money. Oh my god. So pick wisely. Okay. Follow your heart. You got this. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, Emmanuel. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And it was a nice hug, too. You're a good hugger. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not tall enough, for sure. But I think you're, I think. <laughs> well, they're not tall enough. <laughs> Is this really a thing? All right, you know what? There ain't nothing wrong with a short, medium height guy, right? Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. Y'all are beautiful, okay? Um, I'm shocked she got rid of him. Because she had, like, no connection with the Asian guy. Like, all their interactions was so awkward. Why would you keep him around? I feel like she's going to pick the surfer. <laughs> but I feel like he's in it for... I, all right, so I feel like the Asian guy's in it for love and the surfer's in it for money.
but I don't know. I don't know. Jubilee keeps getting me every time. I think your arms made up for it. Yeah, I do, I do a lot of physical activity. I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. You are moving on to the last round. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do one, too, if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> She feels left out. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Round three is all about getting more intimate with Hannah's potential matches. Are you ready to get closer with them? Hey, yes, I am. Dig into their personal lives. Take a seat. I call this the love couch. Oh boy, I'm excited <laughs> now. Let's lounge together. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hi. How are Hello. you? Hello. I'm good. We meet again. We do meet again. Wow. Um. I don't know, what's some, I don't know, what's mm. some deep things? So if young you saw you mm. right now, mm. like what would you think? Cut your hair. <laughs> no way, really? I don't know, maybe. You give off really good energy. Okay, I'm glad. You, you yeah. do as well, you do as well. Thank you. Nice. Have you found happiness in past relationships? I would say I have. I've only had one serious relationship and that was maybe three years ago and we ended on a good note. It's just the timing didn't really line up. Mine was also three years ago. We've been out of the game for a while, I guess. Yeah, we have yeah. been out of the game. And then COVID didn't really make it much easier. No, 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 no. Have you like tried to date around in the past no. year? This is my first time meeting a stranger even <gasps> in like 14 months. Oh my so God. I'm glad it was Lucky you. Lucky you. <laughs> very, very. What, what'd you say you learned from your past relationships? Trust is the most important thing, is the foundation mm -hmm. of everything. I think it's easy to kind of tell. Trust is important, but I feel like communication is a foundation. Communication first, then trust. D the love doctor. <laughs> With my single ass, right? White lies here and there, you know, be like, oh, I'm tired. Like, instead of being like, I'm tired, I don't want to see you, be like, oh, like, I'm busy. And I think, right. I think hearing that as well as also saying that, I think is pretty yeah. damaging. What about yourself? I felt like I was gaslit a lot. Uh, like, they try to make me feel crazy for, like, saying certain things or doing certain things, I guess. So, um, That's terrible. Yeah. Would you benefit a lot from being in, like, a serious relationship right now? Do you feel that? I think... Well, when I'm dating, I kind of date for happiness. I'm not really the type to date for like marriage or anything, but like if your happiness turns into marriage eventually, then that's the good direction, but right. I don't know. Uh, oh, really? Not again. Oh, well, yeah. thanks. One of the things that I say is like, when you're dating, like, yes, you could be in a serious relationship, but because I do intend to date, because like marriage is the end goal for me. But I need to have fun. Like, I need to have fun. Like, I don't have to take every little thing too seriously. I want to be able to joke around and laugh, you know, and game with my partner. So I need my relationship to be fun as hell. Like, a lot of laughters. I guess, like, happiness. Like, a lot of happy moments. Stuff like that, you know? You know, you know, you know, you know? So you're, like, lounging with yeah, me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Well, uh, maybe we'll see you. Maybe I'll see you. I mean, I'm sure I'll see you, but uh, we'll see ya. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I feel like that went really well. I think it did, too. Those were some, like, great conversations. They mm -hmm. flowed. Okay, Sebastian. I mean, I feel like like he's into me as much as I'm into him. Mm -hmm. Really getting to know each other. I feel like he was, he's sad every time time is up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Darren. Body language was so relaxed, like comfortable with himself. Okay. And I like that. Okay. But I don't know, I don't know why. I have a little bit of a feeling that he's in it for money and Ooh. not for the, not for love. Do you have that feeling with Sebastian? No. Not at all? No, you think not his heart's all. on his sleeve, he's in it for yeah. love. Yes. He wants you. Yes. Hey guys. Okay, so I said it, the one with the hair. I said that he's in it for the money. And I guess his name, what, Darren? Darren? He's in it for love. <laughs> so let's see. I'm only good at this off camera, I swear. Hello? Hi. All right, Hannah. The time has come for you to choose who you want to go on another date with. Just a reminder, they could be in it for the money 
but they also could be in it for the love. So take your time, lead with your heart. Who are you choosing? Um, I just like, like lounging on the couch with both of you. Seeing how you lounge was nice. <laughs> 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 um, well, I choose Sebastian. Would you go on a date? Okay, so she did pick oh, the hair. Um, I thought they had a better connection than than Dar Darius, Darren, Asian guy. <laughs> I feel like she had a better connection. But I said he's in it for the money. And you know, I'm always rooting for people. So I really hope that he's in it for love. Because I haven't seen one that's in it for love. He seemed like a sweet guy, but he's an inspiring something. So let's see, let's see, let's see. You never know. With me? I would love to. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> can we hug? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Were you shocked when things took a downward spiral? Downward spiral? I felt like it was more of a, of, of a cliff, not a spiral. Okay guys, this is the final round. This show is all about seeing past the surfaces and trying to get to someone's true intentions. Do you think you did that today, Hannah? Yes. Do you think you made the right choice? I think so. Really? Okay, <laughs> okay. This is Love or Money, and here you go. Time to reveal what you chose. I called it. I called it. <laughs> I called it. I called it. I called it. I called it. Freaking called it. Oh, man. I was kind of really hoping he was in it for love because I have not seen one where somebody picked the person that's in it for love. Everyone has picked somebody who wants the money. Look at his face, like, dang. I played that shit out of you for my $300. At least give him a thousand, like 300. I only really hope it's not 300. I'm just, I'm just lying, but. Sheesh. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what? I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming. I'm the bad guy. But, I mean, good for you. Congratulations. Right. Well, I can't have you here any longer. You can't get her number. You can't get her socials. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. You have to leave without even saying bye, really. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. it's been fun. Hannah. Hannah. Wow. What? Wow. What? Like, I'm speechless. The same. <laughs> Is that really $300? I'm speechless. The same. <laughs> so blurry. All right, one, two, three. Okay, maybe it's 500. <laughs> oh, wait. Did it just flip? It's 600. No, I think one is a flip. It's really $300. <laughs> wow. You just played somebody for $300? That's really $300. <laughs> oh wow he was actually in it for love i thought he was in it for the money wow I feel evil. Did you enjoy the conversations with Hannah? She's great, yeah. I mean, I feel bad for my choice even. If it wasn't for money, would you have taken Hannah on a date? I would have loved to, yeah. She's fun, she's cute. I mean, 
I'm traveling like all next year, so it just didn't really make sense for me to like get into a committed relationship right now. And now you can pay for your travels. Exactly, exactly. How do you feel? I feel beyond shook. Me too. Yeah, that was crazy. I really thought he was in it for the long haul. Me too. Like I couldn't wait to text you and be like, hey, Yeah, I was like ready to go to Malibu with him. Right, I was ready. learn how to surf. I know. I'm sad, but you know, maybe there's someone for me out there. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I called it. So I got two of them wrong. So the one with the dark blue shirt, I thought he was in it for love, but he was in it for money. And the one with the green shirt, I thought he was in it for money, but he actually was in it for love. And I was shocked he was like eliminated first. I think the 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 oh no. So I was gonna say the two guys that were in it for love, she eliminated. I mean she would have she would have really gotten her love story if she picked the Asian guy, Darius, Darian. But um it just felt so awkward, like like their connection just felt so awkward. I'm surprised he even lasted that long, but I really thought she was gonna pick the guy with the green shirt. It just seemed like their connection would have been good off the bat. And then they would have, you know, had love, but I don't know, is this like show exposing people, like saying that they have bad judgment when it comes to certain people? That's what, that's what I feel like, because it's like so far, all the ones that I've seen, they always pick the person who wants the money. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Hopefully we could watch one that is actually in it for love. But Jubilee, you have done it once again. Until next time, guys. Next video. Peace out.